Hi there guys, it's the Boss Man here with another video and this time it's all about Overwatch 2 or as most of the community is insisting, Overwatch 1.1. I'm going to give you my honest opinion about the game and also include a few tips to make sure that you have a better competitive experience in Overwatch 2. I'm brand new to the series and started playing the game when it was released on the 4th of October. We were played with server instability, DDoS attacks, random game crashes, PC freezes and the worst part, massive queues just to get online. Most of these problems have now been ironed out but I'm sure we've not seen the last of them. I just have to remind you to please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I know it's not necessary but it makes me look way cooler than the other gamer dads. Also, we stream live over on twitch.tv forward slash oddbigbossman most days. And if you join in, I'm sure you'll have a great time too. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Snake, answer me! Snake! Snake! So Overwatch, if you don't know, is a team-based FPS game where the team has to work together to get picks, take objectives and ultimately secure a win. <laughs> Your team will consist of one tank, two DPS and two support players. Overwatch's team-based playstyle will make it very difficult for solo queuing players to just push the enemy alone to get kills as ultimately there will always be more than one player ready to get the refrag. This game is literally all about teamwork, staying alive and working as a group. You win by staying alive. It's like the BG said baby. Well you can tell by the way I use my walk on my woman's man. No time to talk. You gotta stay alive. Moss Iceland Spaceport. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. The one thing I was told about Overwatch years ago is that the community has the potential to be even more toxic than Siege and Valorant. I didn't believe that could be true, but in any competitive game, you will have toxic teammates that will throw your game simply because they can. As a new player, you will be blamed for everything. Not enough heals, you're not pushing up, you're not getting kills, where's the DPS? Basically, everyone blames everyone else for their individual poor performances, so get used to it right now. I'm trying, but when I go there... Oh, no, I can see you're doing very well, buddy. Locked and loaded. Man, I don't know to get this done. No, I'm saying you're doing very well. Don't judge me, but... Dude, don't judge me, but my kills... I don't know what's happening to I said you are doing well. I'm not being sarcastic. Your damage is high. You're doing well. I'm I'm being nice. Dumb motherfucker. It's like it's built into people. Heal. Dead. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Then let's, let's focus on our own game, Kieran. We'll, we'll hang back. We'll, we will uh, give them all the heals in the world. Only her Mercy is healing. Buddy, I am healing you, I promise. If you you want to come spectate me, focus on uh, getting damage, buddy. Don't worry about my game. If you're so worried about healing, Q support. Bro, I don't have a fucking team. How much do I have to do? Like, do I have a team? You guys are so shit, man. Come on. That's how you make friends. You must be very popular at school, eh? Always yes, blaming, man. always blaming everyone else. Yes. Yes, That's I'm perfect. You because you are in the wrong. Do something. What am I doing? I've, I've done. I had a perfect game. Look at that. Double KD, six thousand healing, six thousand damage. What more do you want from me? But this is the thing about Overwatch. Everyone will blame everyone else. Yep. This is why this is possibly the worst community of any game ever. You will most likely blame your team too. But will make you different is not blaming your team in all chat or over VoIP. Be better than that. So when you've completed your win 50 quick match challenge, the competitive role queue will be open for selection. You will immediately notice that the tank and DPS queues are 3 to 5 times longer than that of the support role. When playing in a stack, it's much quicker to find a game in the role that you want to play, but in most cases, if you're solo queuing, support will be the role you choose so you don't have to sit in a queue for over 10 minutes to find a match. That is what I did and I placed bronze 2 and then upgraded to silver 4. Let's get into the actual tips now. And these are based on my experience as a solo player that is brand new to the Overwatch franchise. But I do believe that they will be beneficial to almost everyone. Turn off match chat in settings. The enemy team will undoubtedly have negative things to say about you and your team. 
Just turn it off and rid yourself of this unnecessary distraction. I have noticed that not a lot of people use their microphones to talk during game, but they love to tell you what you're doing wrong in team chat. So the tip is as follows. Try your absolute best to be nice. Fighting with your teammates will not help you at all. As an example, if someone picks a Widowmaker at the start of the round, give them a chance to prove themselves. If their kills and damage is very low, politely ask them to switch to a soldier or a sojourn. I say something along the lines of, hey buddy, could you please swap to a soldier or a sojourn? I think we need a bit more fire rate, and that would really help. But if they don't listen to you, don't be rude to them. Just ask politely again. Only type positive things for your team in team chat. Motivate and encourage them. If your Mercy is doing great healing, remember to compliment them. Great game, buddy. Massive heal. Thanks, Mercy. You're the absolute best. People that feel appreciated always do more than what is expected of them. So keep that in mind at all times. Here is an example of my tank informing me that I, playing Moira at the time, was in fact the main healer. This is how I handled the situation. Excuse me, buddy. What are what are you what are you typing? The joke DPS. I don't understand. Do you think like you're like? I'm not healing. I've got fucking one thousand two hundred healing. What what do you want me? What do you want me to do? Do you don't wanna fucking heal the tank? Who are you healing? I don't get heals. I've been asking you for like. Oh yeah, because I'm the only healer. I'm the only. Don't worry, man. This is not how you build a synergy in a team, buddy. Because you're the main healer. You know what is a main healer and an off healer, right? You don't, you don't I, I've been playing Overwatch for seven days, buddy. That's it. Okay, I will. That's it. That's much better. How am I the main healer, but we had a a mercy? Isn't that the main healer, right? I was in fact wrong. After that match, I went onto Reddit and I found a post that detailed the following. I just had a Grandmaster tell me that Lucio, Mercy, Moira and Brigitte are main healers and that Baptiste, Anne and Zen are off healers. Main healer, off healer labels are mainly for the community to understand healing numbers. By this definition, Anna, Baptiste, Moira are main healers who have significantly more healing and in general you can expect them to heal the tanks. What a rude motherfucker, right? Huh? Here I am. Doing everything. After reading this, I realized that if I play Moira, I am responsible for healing the tank at all times. So when I play Moira or Baptiste, I tend to stick to the tank and make sure to heal him as much as possible. This is how you learn, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking telling me I'm a joke. You think I'm a clown? You think I'm fucking here to entertain you? Let me understand this, because I don't you know. Maybe it's me. I'm a little fucked up, maybe. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown. I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. After taking the advice of my tank, I stuck to him like white on rice, and we managed to get this impressive team combo and cleared the sight of all enemies. Is that better? Is that better? You're happy now? Much better. Yeah, I'm better. Much Oh my god, I... English, English, buddy. English, Habibi. Stay with us. Stay with... Uh, you all die. I'm the only one left there. Like, I mean, Mark, can you focus more on the heal? I, uh, look, look at my heals, look at my damage. It's like top tier, buddy. Fuck. Focus more on healing, okay? I've got the most healing. Focus more on damage. Okay, I've got the most damage. What do you want? What is it that you want? Moira. Yes, buddy. Switch, God. switch. We need healing. I am healing. I, I was literally. Oh, stay, stay, stay. I was healing the tank the okay, whole time. Okay, okay. Like, okay, uh, okay. I I'm promise. Sorry. Like, uh, I'm not trying to DPS. Daddy, daddy, I'm sorry. Daddy, That's daddy, fine. Daddy, it's fine. Sorry. It's fine. Shukran, don't worry. Sorry, 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 daddy, sorry. Motherfucker. I've got fucking almost what the other teams got, in total. Yeah. Dude, I've got. Well, a can you say hey, daddy? Hey, daddy, motherfucker. Oh, damn. Oh, no, I feel like I'm death. gay. Well, in short, yes. Overwatch is loads of fun and is free to play on console and PC. There's even crossplay for arcade and quick matches. 
Unfortunately, competitive modes are excluded as the controller players would potentially be disadvantaged playing against mouse and keyboard, but this could change in the future, who knows? Overwatch can be an incredibly rewarding experience. Naturally, it can go bad very quickly, but it's up to you to keep your team motivated and not blame anyone. If you have to IGL during the match and remind the different roles of what to do, go right ahead. Someone needs to try and lead the team. Remind your teammates to keep the healers safe. Eliminate the squishy enemies first. Remember, shooting a shield or a tank constantly being healed is not DPS. That's stat patting if I've ever seen it before. If the support players are kept alive, the tank can push up with confidence. Map control is essential in most FPS games and Overwatch is no exception. When you roll queue, make sure you do what is expected of you. Work as a team above all else. And for the love of all things holy, if you play DPS, please shoot the flyers and the healers first. Well guys, that's it for my first Overwatch video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and a dislike if you didn't. Or let me know in the comments what I can change. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.